Make sure to be a member on the channel, link is in the description. Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, a quick one today but a very cool one. Uh, so yesterday was the release date of the new mod for the clickable cockpit for Flaming Cliffs, uh, made by Redcott, a very cool guy that is making this amazing mod that makes every single aircraft from the Flaming Cliffs package clickable. Of course it has some limitations for the module limitations of the Flaming Cliffs, uh, so there are some systems in the aircraft that won't work, not because of the mod, but because of the module itself from the Flaming Cliffs, so bear in mind that. Uh, but yeah, just an amazing mod, he has a discord that you can join and get the latest uh, version of the mod that I'm going to leave it in the description. His patron as well, uh, that I'm going to show um, in the description so you can actually help him. And yeah, just such an amazing mod that I had to talk about it. Uh, I already did a lot of videos on it. I, I have videos on the MiG-29, the A-10, the the, all the Sukhoi-27s. Uh, the the DJ-11, I mean, and the Sukhoi-27, the Sukhoi-25 and 25T, which is, I mean, they're my favorite probably together with the MiG-29. Uh, so just seriously, guys, uh, download this mod. It, it's very light and very easy to install. I'm going to show in a bit uh, how to install it. And yeah, make sure to sub, of course, on my channel as well. Make sure to be a member if you want to help the channel. And make sure to click on the little bell icon so that you can receive uh, the notification for new videos. So yeah, um, I'm going to leave in the description as well all the showcasing of other of the other videos that I did show uh, showing, you know. Uh, I'm going to leave some footage on the background for me. So yeah. Every single module that you see and every single thing that the aircraft had on the base of Flaming Cliffs, it, it has here, okay? And yeah, it's just makes it everything for an, another level of detailing, you know? Uh, if you already like the Flaming Cliffs and you already flew the Flaming Cliffs modules in any map and any server that is as well, uh, remember that it works for most of the, the servers that I tested, most of, no, 100% uh, of the servers that I tested, so it should work in every single multiplayer server that you, you get in. Uh, but if it doesn't work, uh, make sure to get into the Discord of Redcut and tell him about it, that he will fix it. Uh, and every single bug that you find as well, get in there and just report it, you know, because he's really trying to help everybody. And it's just a thing that Ego Dynamics should have done lo a long time ago, actually, you know. Uh, it's just something that... It's, it's just so weird that it doesn't have right now. Uh, I know it's not a full fidelity uh, cockpit and stuff like that, uh, but the basic amount is just to click about click on the cockpit you know it makes a lot easier for a new player to actually fly this aircraft especially because it's way easier to f just remember where a thing is in the cockpit instead of just uh, remember control shift s d or l or whatever you know to remember all the key bindings and things uh, and i advise you guys to always use some of the key binds on the on the hotas of course because there are some things that are just easier to remember of course uh, stuff like uh, radar lock and countermeasures stuff like that of course like any module it is easier to just um, put it in the hotas you know uh, but everything else just leave it in the cockpit and you will be able to directly actually use it every single navigation system every single option on radars and air to ground weapons and every single thing man uh, he's always introducing more and more stuff so of course there are some little things here and there that might be missing uh, and if you notice that uh, leave it in the discord as well so you can help him test it out and stuff like that but it is in full release it was in kind of a beta alpha state before yesterday but now it is in full release so make sure to get in there and download the mod i will leave everything in the description uh, the download uh thing and the and the discord join his discord uh it, it helps always to get the most uh 
the latest variant uh, of the mod, the version of the mod, you know. Uh, but yeah, and let's show how to install the mod. Uh, so we are here in the in the um, in in the PC, you know, and we are going to go for you're going to download the mod uh, from the Discord that he actually had uh, for the download thing, uh, as you see here. So we see here. We're going to open that and then it's going to have this uh, file or you're going to open, where is it, um, on the, the, the main thing uh, where the user is, uh, depending on where you install Windows. So for me is the SSD, first SSD. So users, uh, Matalg for example, uh, and then you go for saved games, DCS open beta, mods, if there is no mods here uh, just create up um, a folder with this name but yeah and then you go for tech okay you can don't don't install any in in aircraft installing tech and then you're just going to i mean let's just exclude that and then you just go into grab it and put it here and it's installed once you get into dcs it will see uh, the little thing here clickable FCS3 module and it will say that it is installed so everything else is just um, normal there's nothing else to do and you can uh, see all the list of the aircraft that has uh, the mod as you see Su-27, G-11, Su-33, 25T, 25, MiG-29, A, G and S, A-10 and the F-15 so pretty amazing as you see I'm using other mods as well and it's just working perfectly so yeah it doesn't have any you know uh, problems with interference from other mods and stuff so yeah it's just a very good and very mm, that's weird but anyway uh, just a very good mod great mod and just a great addition okay so I hope you enjoyed make sure to sub to click the like button Hit the bell, help Redcott. He's just an amazing guy that is doing everything. And yeah, I see you guys in the skies, guys. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye.